One of the fresh faces down at Queen's Park is Stan Cho. He joins me now. He's the MPP for Willowdale, but also has a pretty big role at Queen's Park these days, trying to shake the cushions to find money to slay that big, nearly $15 billion deficit. You're the parliamentary assistant to the president of the Treasury Board. Not an insignificant role as a newly elected MPP. Uh, how has that been? Because it is perhaps the biggest role the Ford government is going to have moving forward is to slay this deficit. Certainly is, Adrian, and I'm honored, honored to be in this position because the Treasury Board, uh, it's uh, the ministry where all other ministries who receive funding from the government have to come to to get their budgets approved. So you could say I'm an ankle deep uh, mm -hmm. in everything, and certainly reporting to the president of the Treasury Board, Minister Beth Falvey, has been a great honor because he certainly knows what he's doing, and we're on the right path to balance. There is, uh, has been some discrepancy when it comes to the actual numbers. You know, we, we do have, however, had the Auditor General of Ontario for the very first time give sort of a clean bill of health to what the actual reported numbers are. But there's many um, that are detractors of your government that would say you guys are inflating it just to have deep cuts. What would you say to that? I would say to them, uh, this is not uh, fiction. When we look at our fiscal situation in Ontario, we are in a very real situation where one bad USMC uh, deal or an economic downturn can head us down the path to Turkey or Venezuela. We're not invincible. I mean, the fourth largest expenditure now at Queen's Park is interest on our debt. Now imagine at home, if, if the fourth largest expenditure at your house after mortgage and groceries was interest on your credit cards. You, you, you've got to make some changes, and the reason we have to make those changes is that we have to have that sustainable system to help the most vulnerable mm -hmm. in our society, not putting the debt on, on the, the backs of future generations, and to keep our powder dry. Because when there is an economic downturn, and it's not if, it's when, we have to make sure we can survive those downturns, and we need to make sure we're able to still borrow money from our creditors when times get tough. How do you um, maintain levels of service, ensure that we still have a good social fabric, and really um, get our fiscal house in order without cutting? How do you do that? Well, let me start with the, uh, the issue of the students. And, and Andrew and I knocked on 40,000 doors in Willowdale, and many of them were mm -hmm. students. And they said the same thing to me, which was that tuition is too expensive. Uh, that's not where they stopped, though. They also said the cost of living is too expensive. And, and let's see what this latest announcement from our government is. It is an unprecedented announcement to help the students of our province. 10% reduction in their tuition costs. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, we got rid of that uh, six-month period for interest. However, there is a, still a payment grace period of six uh, months, and we did other things. We made sure that we got rid of some of the ancillary fees associated with their, their schooling. Uh, you know, students were paying these fees for associations they didn't really have an interest in. Or, mm -hmm. They didn't care to participate in it, and that's not right. The other thing we've done for students is we've lowered your cost of living. We've made life more affordable. We've brought down gas prices. We're going to continue to work on bringing down hydro prices, and we're going to remove barriers for your employment. Uh, in terms of the debt, we have some difficult decisions ahead of us. But I assure you at Treasury Board, we are in a room and we are taking those discussions incredibly seriously, and we are talking about value for taxpayer money, because at the end of it, it is taxpayer money, and we have to treat it with extreme responsibility. Now, you and a number of your colleagues are on what we saw, we, what we say is the traveling road show. You go all around the province, and you have these what's called pre-budget consultations, and individual citizens and, and the different communities can, of course, participate and tell your government what you know they, they feel about the finances. Mm -hmm. Do you guys actually listen to them? Sure do, Adrian, and we're we're off to I think Sunday. I leave for. Thunder Bay, then we're in Dryden, Sarnia, Ottawa, we're across the entire province and uh, we do listen to everybody. We're, we're not just there with our government, we're there with the uh, opposition members as well. Mm -hmm. And the whole point of this is, is that we do have a very important budget ahead of us and we need to be listening to the people of Ontario to get their input. Uh, and of course, we're still going to operate through that lens of value for money, but it is very important and we do listen to answer your question. All right, so you are, as I said, right at the top of newly elected MPP. Um, Tell me one of the things that surprised you the most about being an elected official. Hmm. That's a great question. It is well, a good question. I'll tell you this much. I mean, uh, two years ago, I, I did not see myself in this position. But uh, you know, when it, during my orientation, uh, uh, the outgoing speaker, Dave Levac, told me that uh, only 2,000 people in the history of our country have been able to serve as MPPs. And I take that as a great privilege. So I have no problems waking up at 4 a.m. every day and getting to work. And the other thing that's really surprised me is how fast our government has moved. And, and you know what? We have a lot more work to do. We're not going to slow down. We're going to make sure we return our province to balance. All right. Well, don't forget to participate in these pre-budget consultations. Log on to Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.